Hey guys, check it out. So this is my Black Soldier Fly test bin. And I was kind of digging around in here a little bit. And um, being that it's 72, uh, if you can see that, 72 degrees Fahrenheit in here. These guys are really thriving. And uh, here's one on top that's pupated. And he's kind of he's kind of ready to turn into a black soldier fly. Um, they become real stiff and uh, inflexible. But uh, let's dig around a little bit. Let's let's see just how many are in here. So we're gonna dig down to the bottom here. Look at that. Oh yeah. So all of these are, uh, you know, naturally caught in that I just uh, basically filled this bin full of bedding and some uh, layer mash and left it be. Now there are black soldier fly larvae all throughout this. Um, you can actually, if I kind of pile it up a bit and I get you know, get down to the bottom here some. Look at all those. Look at them all go. You can actually see the material, the bedding and stuff moving. That's how many are in here. So, uh, as I've said before, black soldier fly are a fantastic source of free protein for your chickens and your ducks and whatever else will eat them. Um, even more so than dubia roaches. And they're much, much, much easier to grow. And uh, they don't require a whole lot of care at all in that you can pretty much just freaking ignore them. And they'll even pupate uh, by themselves. Um, you know, you don't have to do anything like with mealworms or any of that garbage where you put them in a film container to make them pupate or uh, subject them to dark conditions or whatnot just to get a, you know, a darkling beetle so that they can reproduce. Um, black soldier fly come to you. They, uh, they are flies. They look like wasps. We've been over this before. Um, but they have no stinger and they don't bother you at all. Um, and they lay their eggs. I think they lay a hundred at a time or so. And when I was in here, they were swarming everything. So, uh, what I'm going to end up doing with this, I don't, I'm undecided right now. So I want, what I really want is over the course of the winter when I'm not brooding is to, uh, figure out how to cover one of these with some sort of I don't know, sheet plastic or screen, fine screen. Because what I can do is I can take a bunch of this and put it in one of those and let it go. And what will happen is all these will pupate into black soldier fly and repeat the cycle. And I will have a massive amount of black soldier fly as long as I keep it damp and feed in some uh, waste material like, uh, you know, table scraps or food or any of that stuff into here or you know even go the grain route where I feed in layer mash or whatever but you know it's kind of expensive to raise these um, so I think what I'm going to do is while these are down um, I think they only take 15 or 20 days to become a maggot or about the size that a chicken can eat um, so I think I'm going to cycle them into one of these here and see if I can get kind of a self-sustaining colony now, the thing about it is, you know, we've all walked past that garbage can and went, whew, that stinks. But this, it doesn't, you know, there's no, like, rotting anything. It's just, you know, the, the, the larva, it smells, it smells a bit like ammonia, but that's only because I've been dumping chicken stuff, or, uh, yeah, chicken stuff, uh, 
waste from the bins into here. But uh, you know, down below, it doesn't it doesn't really stink. Um, it doesn't smell like rotting garbage or you know even rotting uh, grain. You know, I don't know if you've ever smelled rotting grain. Rotting grain can really stink, but this does not have that smell at all. Uh, in fact, it smells pretty okay. Um, inoffensive, let's call it that. So, uh, how do you take care of these? How do you wet them? Now, this is pretty wet, but it could go for another wetting. Um, all I do is I really just wet it. So I give it a good, a good wetting and then just let it, you know, soak up some water here. That's really, that's really it. Um, once it's become wetted, I do let it sit over the sink if I can get it balanced and kind of drain out. And you can see uh, there's like a T coming out of there and that's what a lot of people call worm uh, casting T. Uh, same stuff, you can capture this and put it on your plants. Um, same premise, works good. In fact, when you're raising soldier fly, you do need to have a, uh, a well-drained um, bucket or you know a thing you're keeping them in and this thing happen to ha happens to have a crack in the bottom so it's good um, anyway I thought I'd share I'm gonna raise some soldier fly probably if I can find some screen to keep them in that bin because they will fly away and and or you know when I open this door or whatever I'm gonna be inundated with a mass of flies in my face and I, I really don't it's not something I really want you know what I mean so uh, anyway I hope you enjoyed this uh, experience it's kind of gross and uh, have a good day